Beware he who hunts monsters, lest ye become a monster yourself. What I'm going to be talking about is that movie, I Am Legend. So I watched this movie because I love the book, I Am Legend, it's great, you know. It made a very good point, and it was a good exploration of humanity in desperate times and all that shit. You know, with that core point in the middle of it all that anyone in the right or wrong circumstances can be turned into a horrible monster. The stuff of legends. I am legend, right? Yeah, there it is, huh? And the main character became a monster to the people he was fighting because of the survival instinct. You know, they're these monsters, right? They're coming to get me. I'm one of the last people left. I have to get them first. And so that mentality turned what was otherwise a pretty normal guy into a hardened killer, a savage murderer who operated almost on instinctual drives alone. And the point there in the end was that he was in the wrong in a sense. Not really, because there was no objective right or wrong, but he and his race had been replaced by something that had grown out from them and he was clinging on to the last vestiges of his old ways and it, it had destroyed his humanity and his sense of self by the end and he died. He died being the legendary monster. But now, in the movie, let's just drop all of that philosophical bullshit, right? Let's just make it a monster story because now we've got these monsters and they're obviously stupid and savage and we have a guy who's going to save the human race from the evil monsters and in the end he does some basically pointless self-sacrifice and yes it was pretty much pointless why couldn't he have crawled through the little chute with everybody else and let the monster kind of try to break through the glass or maybe you know not kill the only person who had the cure in his blood i don't know like that did seem kind of important okay you have the cure for this thing in your blood don't blow yourself up you're kind of important but all of that shit aside, the real issue to me with this movie was its dumbing down of what was otherwise a brilliant exploration of human psychology and the state of survival and what it does to you. We need to not, as a people, shy away from these sorts of dark explorations of the psyche of what it means to be human and what we all are. Because any one of us could be a saint or gas chamber attendant, as the saying goes, with the right circumstance. And that is, in essence, what the book was trying to explore, was that pushed to the limits of his survivability, our main character became a savage monster just to survive. And in the end, well, he accepted his demise as a monster, not a man, because that's what he had become. You know, beware he who hunts monsters, as I said. <laughs> the abyss stares back. You know the sayings, because they're true. And the book was an exploration of that point. But the movie really, it just turned the whole point into another zombie movie. Which we have plenty of and many better done ones. <laughs> so if you want a good read, I recommend you find the book, I Am Legend, and give that a shot. Read it. Check out perhaps some of the other stuff the author wrote too. But read it. Not thinking about what the movie said or, oh, I'm going to expect some zombies or however they classified them in the movie. And read it for what it is, which is a dark exploration of what we can all become when we have to fight. In essence, it's a look at the psychology of war, the psychology of survival, the psychology of people pushed into circumstances beyond their ability to stay sane. And who knows when any one of us could possibly find ourselves in such a situation, hmm? So give it a read. I recommend the book. Just don't ever do the movie. It's just crap. It's just all crap. <laughs> just something to think about.